One community was packed tonight as they cheered on a beloved Marine returning home. Thanks for joining us. I'm McLeod Hageman. And I'm Jessica Coons. Hopeston's Main Street was lined with flags. Family and friends did not let the gloomy weather tonight stop them from celebrating. WCI3's Bryce Beamant joins us now. And Bryce, this welcome home was a surprise. Oh, definitely. They were able to keep it quiet. Corey Moore had no idea people would be waiting to cheer him on as he arrived back home. Very exciting. We're just so anxious to see. It's, it's been a long time. <laughs> and there's been so many prayers in this town for, for Corey. Corey Moore has finally returned to his hometown. Moore is a Marine who has been stationed in Afghanistan. He's been serving for two years. It's incredible to support us and, and Corey, but I think a lot of it is supporting the military and um, you know the sacrifices that they give and, um, and, and how they protect us. After a delayed flight, he was escorted through the streets of Hoopston by fire truck. Hundreds lined Main Street in the rain, honking their horns and cheering on Moore's return. It's been a, a while in the making, him coming home and uh, the amount of people here and the small community and surrounding communities um, is just fantastic. I mean, this is, this is what small town is like. His mother, just happy to have her son back home safely. I was telling my friends and family beforehand that he was just going to have to peel me off of him when I started to give him a hug. So um, I, I can't describe the feeling. After the parade, Moore was able to see his loved ones. Very proud of him. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going to be wonderful to give him a big hug. And his grandma was finally able to do just that. Moore still has another two years to serve, but his family says they are just happy to have him home right now. All right, Bryce, thank you so much for that story. Now, Moore had been stationed at the airport in Kabul where 13 service members were killed in a bombing. All U.S. troops were pulled from Afghanistan at the end of August, ending a 20-year war.